but there were others still determined to build on the work of the English folk revival. Come all ye jolly sporting men who love to go aloft, and I'll tell you of a mowing match come off at Brimmy Cross. They sing in folk clubs all over the country. They travel around in an old van. They positively shun the limelight. These are the Watersons, a very important part of the revival of traditional British music. There was a great gulf between what we did and what the blues guitarists did. We were excited by our own tradition. We were absolutely enthralled to the music. The music was is dark, the music is fascinating, it's 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 our, you know, it's our traditions. You can lose yourself within yourself and forget yeah. completely about the audience. And they, but they can lose themselves in with you as well. Yeah, but, well, this and is that's the point. That's the point, yeah. is it, to bring the audience into you instead of... Instead of A significant fellow traveller of the Watersons was Anne Briggs. We're all sort of singers with condition to singing in clubs, we're conditioned to be club performers mm -hmm. now, which never was the role of folk singers before. Well, the thing is, we, what we've done, we've picked up the threads of a tradition, and we've not got really, other than a few old recordings, we've not got anything else to go on. I never found a single thread through, apart from a gut feeling, and that was the only thread that ran through it all, was that, that direct line that some singers had through singing their songs to, to the human emotion. One morning to take the air down by black water side. I first heard Annie Briggs down at the Troubadour and I suppose it would be 62. She was very young, 15 or something, 16. I walked in the door and I saw this woman singing, standing up with her hands behind her back, head back and just sang. And this lovely fluid voice. Very straightforward singing, really wonderfully musical, a gorgeous timing. Anne Briggs sort of came out of nowhere. She had passion and she took no prisoners. For her, folk song was visceral. It came from here, not from here. And if she sang a song that you already knew, like Lowlands Away, sea shanty, but she sang it uh, as a love song, which of course it is in origin before it became a sea shanty. I thought, well, I can sing that song, but I feel differently about it. So I just thought I'd sing it the way that I felt about it. I loved the sound of it, and I loved the words of it, and I loved the tune, and I just sang it. And, and it, it obviously it didn't come out very shanty-like by the time I'd done with it. I dreamed I saw my own true love 